Hey guys, it's Bella and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I have my what I ordered in January haul and I do also technically have an um, order from December, but that technically didn't ship until January. So I guess that's fine. Um, but yeah, I do have all my items here. So I'm just going to go in the order of which I ordered these items, if that makes sense. Um, and then for my future hauls, I'll probably go back to doing them like in snippets um, with like what arrived chronologically, if that makes sense. Um, so starting off, I have this order from Pink Diamond Planner Co. So this was one of the mystery kits. Um, but yeah, she was um, taking down like the mystery overstock um, towards the end of December. So I just thought I would pick this up before it left the shop. Don't know if these um, get reformatted and come back to the shop. So I don't know if you'll be able to get this again or if it's gone forever, but um, I thought I would pick this up for winter. So I'm going to be using this in July. So this was the October Mystery Winter Greenhouse. Um, and I really, really love this art. So I think I was like umming and ahhing about it and I just finally decided to pick it up um, before it left the shop. So here we are. So I, I ordered this on the 28th of December. Um, I did pick this up in the mini format and then I did also get a couple of add-ons. Um, so yeah, so here is the kit. So we do have the full boxes, uh, the sort of like sidebar page with the deco and um, we can banner with marquee, that kind of thing. The glitter headers and sort of labels page, the bottom washi um, date covers and like extra full box. And then this is the other sort of labels page with like the patterned um, and solid labels and little things. And then this is the label add-on so you get some more labels and then the icons and then this was the extra color page for the mini kit so you do get the extra color and some labels and then it's just some more labels in the kit um, versus the like full kit format which has like a full page of this extra color so yeah so that is that um, i have picked up some foil to go with this from Lina design so that'll be in my next haul um, but yeah, and then I, like I said, I'll be using this in July. So you'll see the, I guess the whole combination in my July lineup, but I do really, really like this. Um, and I did use a PR girl code. So I did use um, Anna's code for 15% off, but I didn't get a freebie. So I'm not sure if maybe like, because this was um, like the overstock stuff, I didn't get a freebie included, like, because I didn't order any in-shop items, if that makes sense. like. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but um, maybe, or if my mail forwarder took the freebie out, but I did use a PR code. So yeah, this was 26, no, 2360, sorry. I'm trying to read off my um like notes and I'm fumbling. This was 2366 US total. This shipped the 29th of January, because I believe there was a two to four week processing, but um, I don't remember. And this delivered, this arrived to my US address the 3rd of February. So. Yeah, that is my order from Pink Diamond Plow. Um, and I am hoping to order from her shop soon to get um, the Kitness Chef's Eid art because I do really like her rendition of that. Next, I have an order from Planner Choco, one of my favorite foil shops. Um, this one is kind of a small one. I just picked up some foil basics to go with my um, Babe Box subscription because there, there has been some changes for 2024 to that subscription. Um, which gives me the option to bring in my own foil um, because the kits no longer come foiled. So um, I did just pick up uh, some foil basics in silver glitter from Planet Choco to go with that. So we do have the dot cluster dates and it did also come with the dot clusters um, like deco sort of thing. So this is in silver glitter, which is a really, really nice foil. It's kind of like a chunky, like hollow almost because um, it does have like that sort of yeah, like dot sort of star background, I guess. Oh, so hopefully this is, I feel like it's not showing very well, but I can see it, but I think it's just where I'm reflecting it on the camera is not showing very well. So sorry about that. Um, but anyways, and then I did get the bundle. So I do just usually get the two pages, which um, are these here. So we do have the full box overlays and then the, um, bottom washi and headers. 
And then there is also like underlays you can get and the extra add on page, which just has some more boxes, some hole protectors and like the date dots. And then if you get like a themed bundle, it has like some extra, you know, deco and headers and that kind of thing as well. But I just thought this would do. Um, and I do also have some other like silver glitter things in my collection because I have used this foil from her shop before. So um, if I do need anything else, I could always pull those in. But yeah, I picked this up uh, during a sale. So I ordered this on New Year's Day. So they were having a New Year's sale for 32% off. This was $13.97 US total. This shipped the 3rd of January and arrived the 18th of January. So yeah, because I did ship this to myself here in Australia. Just gonna have some water because my mouth is very dry and then I will continue. Okay, hopefully that'll do. So next I have my order from the Honeybee Shop. So this is my Babe Box subscription for January. So this theme was reset. So like sort of like New Year, fresh start kind of vibes. Um, so yeah, so there are a couple of things that come in the subscription every month. So the sticker kit and the washi tape. And then every month there is like a different set of um, like other items. So sometimes you'll get some stickers. Sometimes you'll get um, like stationary add on, add on, not add ons, stationary items like, um, you know, sticky notes or that kind of thing, or yeah, or like a lifestyle sort of um, item. But for this month, there was um, some stickers and some inserts. So I will show those in just a moment. But first we have the washi tape, which like I said, comes in every subscription. So um, I do have the ones from last year uh, kept in a storage box. But yeah, uh, this is 10 millimeters, I believe. It might be 15, I could be wrong, but this is really gorgeous in like a gorgeous like floral. So here is the washi tape. Um, it did come wrapped in plastic and I have taken everything out of the plastic just to make it easy to do this whole. So you don't hear me fighting with cello bags and whatnot. Um, and then it did come with this little set of stickers. Um, so we do have some habit trackers, some mood trackers, which are really cute, some like emoticons, and then this um, unplug and recharge, which is really, really cute. So just a nice little sampling of stickers to pull in. And then here is the sticker kit. Uh, so like I said, there have been some changes. So now all the stickers are done in house again, rather than um, in a sticker book from a supplier. Um, and part of the reason was quality control issues. And then the other part was um, to offer more options. So now you have a skin tone option. So you can choose between light, medium, and dark. So I do have the um, light skin tone. So all the girls in the kit will be in the the one skin tone um, rather than before that you had sort of like a variety of each. So here is the stickers and they are printed on a premium matte paper. You can use any pen on these. I did ask in the Facebook group um, just in case, cause I wasn't sure some shops, you know, they say premium matte and it's sort of like a premium matte vinyl kind of vibe. Um, so always hard to tell, but uh, yes, you can use any pens on this. So I'll probably stick to using my um, go-to gel pens. So anyways, here is the format, which this has slightly changed for the next subscription. So when I do my February haul, you will see that and I'll probably talk through what I've noticed, but um, I think it's mainly just the sheet size and um, a few things, but here is the first page. So we do have some full boxes, some labels and some um, headers, which I've realized that this only has six full boxes in this kit. So I will have to make some extra full boxes for myself with um, the girl stickers that I will show right at the back um, and maybe the washi tape as well. So I'll have to work that out when I get there, but here are the four boxes. Um, I do plan on using this kit, I believe in May, just because the colors give me like May vibes. So yeah, even though this was sort of like a new year like kit, I did already have my January lineup and I don't know, it just didn't feel like a January kit for me because it's, the colors are very like wintry, which makes sense because this is a US shop. Um, so I just thought I would use this more for like my transition from autumn to winter. Uh, but anyways, we've got some labels, um, and checklists. We've got some headers here for your sidebar, a little cute washi strip, some, um, more sort of headers, but these are more for like a, like a journal or something like that. And then we've got some shapes and then here we have some more shapes and headers and date covers and a habit tracker. 
Then we've got the trackers page. So you've got like your um, sidebar stickers and bill dues and all of that, um, appointment stickers, water trackers, that kind of thing. Some really cute icons, which I really like, um, which I know that in the March uh, Doodle Sub, there are some icons. Um, so yeah, so there is like three options in the shop. There is the Bay Box, which is this subscription. There is the Doodle Sub, which are basically like sheets of this size. Um, and you get, I think, six of them maybe. Um, of like different doodles and sort of decorative elements. And then there is the digital um, subscription, which is like a deluxe format. So you do get um, the clip art and papers, and then you do also get digital elements of like the stickers and whatnot to use in like a digital planner and also like cut files and things like that. Um, but yeah, anyways, then we've got the um, date dots and then this did come with some extra little things because this was the first sub of the year. So we do have some like month scripts and um, like sort of like, uh, category scripts and then we do also get some like holidays so I'll probably pass this on to my mum because I have already made my own like holiday scripts for my planner um, so she can definitely use this in her planner and obviously not everything applies because this is an American shop so there are some um, US centric holidays on here but that is totally fine um, so yeah and then this did also come with some like monthly calendars um, which you could use like in a bullet journal or any sort of like, yeah, journal of some kind, but that's really nice. And then here are the um, girls. So again, you've got some larger size ones, some smaller size ones, and then just some floral deco. So yeah, like I said, I'll probably have to make maybe like a full box, like, I don't know, maybe with this girl in her gym attire um, and like the tattoo girl, I think would be really nice. Something like that. Um, Cause then obviously these two are already in the full boxes. So. Yeah, because I will basically have to make another two full boxes, one for the sidebar and one for um, during the week. But this has been remedied in the next kit. So the next kit has enough full boxes. But yeah, anyway, so that is that. And then I have made myself some extras to go with this. Um, so I don't have premium matte paper. I have glossy paper, so the colors are slightly different. But I have made myself some glitter headers because I do like to have those. Um, and then some more like labels because I realized there wouldn't be enough in the kit. Um, and then I have also made myself a 15 millimeter. So, um, when I do use this spread in May, you'll see me pull those in along with the foil. Um, and then this did also come with a, um, planner insert. So this is a goal planner, um, which is really nice. Don't know if I will use this cause I'm terrible at goal setting, but I will try my best. So it does come with like, um, different pages for yearly, quarterly, monthly, um, planning some actions and then there's also some like reflection stuff at the beginning so here is the front page we have like a letter to your future self and then this is sort of like um, setting up for the year then we do have like a reflections sort of page um, and then like another sort of reflection page we do have a year in pixels which is really cute so you do get two of those um, so you can sort of name this whatever you'd like and then this is yeah the year in pixels so I don't know, I would love to try this out. Um, I just don't know if I would be able to keep up with it because I have a tendency of like starting things and then never finishing them. So um, yeah, I also just like forget to sort of track things. So like, I feel like if I tried to do like the year in pixels, I'd do really well for one week. And then like, let's say I'm really busy and like, I just completely forget. And then, yeah, I don't know. Um, but then we do have yearly goals in a bunch of categories and then the monthly goals page for the whole year and then we do get the quarterly goals and actions so these two pages for each quarter of the year so you've got um three goals and a notes and then three goal like actions so for each goal what actions will you take and then your reflections for each quarter so like how you went maybe what you could have changed that kind of thing so you do get that for every quarter of the year and then you do get um like one little page here for your like goal, the reason you want to do it, reward, action steps, and like a progress tracker. So that's really nice. And then you do get a blank like note page. And then this was just the backing card. So that's really cute. Like I said, don't know if I'll use it, but it's still really nice to have. Um, so yeah, that is my Honeybee Shop Bay Box subscription for January. 
This was uh, 25 US dollars plus shipping. So with all of the shipping and everything included, it came to 32.35 US. Uh, these bill on the first of the month and then ship towards like the 20th. So this shipped the 23rd. So it's always like that week. So like between the 20th and like the 25th of each month, something like that. Um, so yeah, they shipped the 23rd of January and then arrived to my US address the 27th of January. So my um, February one is already in my like US suite, I guess, um, waiting to be shipped. So I'm waiting for one more order and then I will probably request that. But yeah, you'll see in the February sub um, just some of the slight format changes because obviously this was the first sub of the year. Uh, um, taking into account, I think, feedback. I believe she did a survey. Um, I could be wrong. But, yeah, some feedback from, like, the previous subs and, like, um, how she could improve them for 2024. Um, so, yeah, the format, like, the stickers and, th and things are pretty much the same, um, but, like, the sheet size and some of the things have changed slightly. So you'll see those changes in the February um, sub. So yeah, moving on, I have an order from Whimsical Plans. This is my first time ordering from this shop, but I have eyed them for a very long time. Um, so yeah, this is the Pillow Talk kit, which is uh, Sadie Piper art, which she recolored this year. So it's in this like pink and orange um, colorway because I think last year the colorway was like a full pink one or there was one that was like uh, red and like a chartreuse kind of color. Um, but yes, I didn't use this art last year but I decided to pick it up this year for Valentine's because I don't know, I just wasn't really vibing with the Valentine's art this year, sort of between this and the Like a Rose art from Kinesh Girl Jess. So I decided to pick this up in a weekly and then the other art in a monthly, which you'll see next when I haul um, Caress Press. But yeah, so this is my Valentine's kit. Um, so I did order this in the small format and I did also get the label add-on, which you'll see um, that'll be the last page. This is on glossy paper. I believe you can get premium that in the shop, but I could be wrong. Um, and I did order this on their Shopify page. So here is the kit. So we've got the four boxes here. Then we've got this page with the deco, the weekend banner, and then some sidebar items and like layering items. Then we have um, some more four boxes, like another scene here, um, some more sidebar and functionals. So moving my keys. Um, habit trackers and icons and then we get a bunch of labels in pattern and solid and then little things in pattern and solid and also the glitter headers and then the bottom washi and date covers and another extra full box and then this I did like I said um get the label add-on so you do get the um rounded labels and these little squared boxes and then also the fashion girls so um, I ordered this on the 3rd of January. This was $26.50 US altogether um, with the shipping and everything included. Uh, this shipped the 17th of January and arrived to my US address the 23rd of January. So that is my order from Whimsical Plans. I am, bleh, I am again going to have some water because my mouth is feeling very dry. Okay, I think that's all right. And then next I have an order from... Uh, Kristen's planner. So this is to go with that kit. So this is the Valentine's bundle in coral. This was sort of a wild card because um, I wanted to get a foil that wasn't like pink because I felt like there was a lot of pink in the kit. So I wanted to pull in more of that like orange color. Um, and this was when I went through the colors on the website, this was the closest color I could find, which I think on camera, no, mm, I don't know. In some lights, if like in low light, it sort of looks more orange, but it's definitely like a coral coral color so it's got like that reddish base to it so yeah a little bit more red than i would have hoped but um i think it'll be fine so here is the valentine's bundle which i don't think is available in the shop at the moment because um she did have issues with her hard drive and so she's in the process of like recovering everything and also like redoing her shop but um this is my second time ordering from Kristen's Planner. I did order a Halloween bundle from her, which I think was in the haul that I filmed that never got around to uploading that, you know, I have since deleted. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, I did pick this up, like I said, in coral. So we do have the full boxes and headers on this side. Um, I have gone through this, so this is slightly out of order. We do have some scripts and a tour box. And this is really cute. It's got like the Valentine's font with like the love heart as the O which is really cute. Um, 
two pages of underlays. Again, this is out of order, but we do have, yeah, underlays here, the rest of the four boxes and headers, which are really cute. And then, like I said, the other page of underlays and the um, date covers, the whole protectors, the sidebar headers and bottom washi. And then there's also the little like check marks for your habit trackers, which is really cute. Um, so that is the foil bundle. Uh, so yes, this was $18.50. I did use APR um, code. So I used Kirsten's code for 15% off. Um, but I will explain what happened with the freebies in a second. Um, so I ordered this on the 3rd of January. I believe it was like a six to eight week processing time or three to six weeks, something like that. Um, but she did make sure that all of these orders were done before she went to Disney. Um, so this shipped, like I got the shipping notification the 31st of January, but um, her fiance partner, I'm not too sure, um, forgot to like take the mail or something. So it didn't actually ship until the 8th of January. Like that's when it started. 8th of February, that's when it started moving. Um, so yes, and then it arrived the 13th of February. Um, so yes, to go with that, um, like I said, she had issues with her hard drive. So she basically basically lost all her freebie files, including like, you know, shop freebies, PR freebies and whatnot. So I did get a like, oops, bag bundle instead, um, which came with like a ton of things. So I will quickly go through this and then I'll also sort of explain maybe an idea that I have for the kit. But um, yeah, so there is a bunch of these freebies. I'm not really going to go through every single thing, but um, we do get some of these smaller, like, you know, in-shop freebies with like scripts and um, overlays and different things in different foils, which are really, really cute. So these, I try to like sort of organize them to these were all like sort of like smaller freebies. Um, so that is that. And then we did get some like larger ones. So we do have these um, like Disney um, scripts so these I think is for Hollywood Studios I guess it's what it stands for I have no plans of going to Disney I probably will never go to Disney in my life I went to um, Tokyo Disney but that's probably the closest I will get um, but I don't know if I ever do go I may use these we do have these work scripts which I definitely will use um, so that is that and then there is also the Magical Movies Part 1 um, which I will probably use as well I could use maybe uh, to mark if I watch any of these movies in my planner. I feel like this is not focusing. Okay, I don't know. Anyways, and then uh, we did get, a, I did get a couple of these little like um, bottom washing sheets. We have some like Christmas ones, uh, this one which is like unfoiled and then this one which is like a love heart. Um, so yeah, these were all oops because there are like some minor imperfections with the foil. Then I did get a ton, well not a ton, but like a few of these um, solid underlays. So we do have, uh, th these two here in like a fuchsia color, this one in like a light blue, uh, these two in red glitter. Yes. And then this one here in kiwi. Um, and then I'll just quickly flick through the last couple of things before I go through my idea. Uh, we do get some more like foiled things. So these really cute, like almost like Frozen-esque in gold. This one, which was like a DIY bundle, which does have some like uh, custom scripts, like custom overlays. Um, but yeah, these were oops, I guess. So I could probably use some of these like the first day of winter, baby's cold, it's cold outside, that kind of thing. Um, there's that. And then we do also get some scripts, which are really nice. Um, and then this one, which was sunflower pumpkin. So I do get two underlays there. And then this one, which was like a fitness bundle. So that was the oops grab bag, which was like, yeah, I guess in replacement of the freebies that you would normally get with your order. But um, as I was saying, I don't know, because I was sort of like umming and ahhing as to whether this foil would match the kit, I thought maybe I could use these like solid underlays. But again, the tone isn't perfect because it is, I guess, slightly more like purpley, I guess, than the pinks in the kit. But what I was thinking was that maybe I could use like one set and do like the, you know, solid with the overlay but I don't know, haven't decided. So I may try that, like try that off camera and see how we go. Um, and if I do use that, you'll see that in the February lineup. Uh, but if not, I'll just stick with the bundle. But yeah, that is um, what I got from Kristen's planner. So yes, I did mention all the costs and the shipping. So I'm just going to move everything to the side. All right, so next I have my order from Caress Press. 
So I'm going to zoom out quickly just to show you this. But um, I did order some of these insert covers for my planner. So I did get the Beach Club one to go with the kit that I had to use for my January monthly. And I did get the medium skin tone brunette. So I really, really liked this. Then I did get the Like a Rose in the Deco 2, which was the shadow for uh, February. And then I did get the Clove Cafe in the Deco 1 street scene for um, March. Uh, so yeah, so I am going to pop these into my planner. And then what I do plan on doing as well is um, trimming part of the bottom so that I do have the script that says the month of the year. I was like struggling to think of the word there. The month of the year showing because um, I'm not using um, Crest Press inserts. I'm using a Sadie Stickers uh, planner. So the format for that is a little different, but that is that. And then I will go back, zoom back in and show you the monthly kits. So I did get a, nope, that was zooming out. Zoom back in, there we go. Um, so I did get this cute little food freebie in silver. So we do have some food icons and then some scripts. So like brunch, ice cream, drive-thru, burgers, Chinese, donut run, pick up cookies, make dinner and order pizza in silver, which is really cute. Uh, so yes, and then like I said, I did order two monthly kits. So we do have, I'm just gonna flick this the right way around. So we do have like a rose, which I will be using in February. So we do have the deco sidebar. Um, and then the kit itself, which I picked up undated. So we do have the deco boxes, the deco payday flag, and then the um, date dots, which I won't be using because I do have some foil to go with this. And then the kit itself. So we've got the um, top bar and stri strip to cover the days, not in the month, paydays and labels. The other top bar, some more pattern boxes, um, labels, payday flag, and then the icons page and um, the rest of the labels. So that is like a rose. Uh, and I do always order from Crest Press on premium matte, but she does offer glossy. And then I did get the Clove Cafe, which this was the September 2023 mystery um, art. But again, uh, September is the beginning of spring in Australia. So that's why, again, I love the option of having undated so I can get, you know, art like this that um, is exclusive and sort of, yeah, I wouldn't be able to get anywhere else, but I can match it to where I am. Um, sort of in the year, which technically I probably should have gotten like an Easter one for March because Easter is the end of March, but I'm going to do Easter as like my April. So I'm sort of cheating there. But anyways, so we do have the deco sidebar again, the um, decorative boxes, deco and date dots, and then the kit. So um, top bar, strips to cover the days, not in the month, labels and payday. I just love this art. It's so cute. And I love the like Burberry plaid kind of style here. Um, but yes, again, Sadie Piper art, and then the other one was Kitness Jess art. So that is my order from Crest Press. Uh, so I did actually use a like shop reward because I had enough points to get a $15 off code. So I used that, um, which was super exciting. Uh, so I this whole thing was $35.99 US total, so with the shipping and everything included. I purchased this on the 18th of January, this ship the 19th, so really fast shipping time, and this arrived the 22nd of January. So yeah, that is my order from Caress Press. So I will probably um, pick up my April and May together, so probably won't do that for a while because I need to wait and see what um, art she releases for May monthlies, but... Yeah, I'm probably going to try and aim to do like two to three months at a time for my monthlies. And then if I choose to buy any weekly kits or foil, I'll try to bundle them in when I order the week, the monthlies and whatnot. Sorry, I'm going to have some water because my mouth is dry and I just know I'm going to scrub my words again. Okay. And then to go with the monthly kits, much like what I did for January, I did pick up an order from Planet Pixie Co., very small one because I only really ordered these bits, um, but it did come with this really cute uh, strawberry shortcake jelly card. Super cute, super, super cute. I don't know what I would use this for, but um, I'll probably just hoard it along with all the other journaling cards that I have. So cute though. Um, and it did come with this freebie. I keep forgetting to use a PR um, code or to put a PR like um, name in the notes. So I did just get just a shop freebie so this was the january freebie which was pizza themed which is super cute and this is in pink color i believe uh so this is 
really cute. So you get the um, overlay and then the sidebar script, which is super cute. So there is that. And then, like I said, I did get the um, monthly samplers. So for February, I picked uh, Lavender Hollow, which I believe her Lavender Holiday is slightly different than um, most shops. So hers is a bit more purpley. Um, I have noticed this because I believe I um, used some Caress Press Lavender Hollow for a November spread from last year, and I realized the difference. Um, like, so... I don't know if it's like the difference between in shop and uh, manufactured. I believe so. That's probably what it is. But um, yeah, so this is a lavender hollow. So this will go with the like a rose. I'm just going to bring it back into frame so that you can sort of see my idea. But I think this will go really well because it sort of plays off the um, like purples and pinks. So that is to go with that. And then I did pick up uh, caramel for March. I did ask in the Facebook group if she had like something sort of similar to like a rose gold or like a copper. I think to a copper because I didn't want to use rose gold. I sort of want to try and use like fun foils in my monthly. So I asked if she had maybe like a copper foil or something like that. And she said the closest she had was um, either caramel or like antique gold. So I decided to pick up caramel, which is a matte foil. Um, so yeah, and then this is to go with the uh, clove cafe. So that'll just go really nice with like the autumnal colors. So yeah, just a nice small little order from Planner Pixie Co. But like I said, I do really love Randy's shop and I love that she has this option. Um, so I will definitely order more throughout the year and then hopefully I'll be able to order some kits and other things as well. So it's not just these little sheets, but uh, yeah, I did use a like an Etsy code that you get automatically when you order. So I did get 15% off. Um, I ordered this the same day, so the 18th of January. This was 14.81. Australian total because um on Etsy I pay in Australian dollars. This shipped the 8th of February and arrived the 10th of February. So that is that order from Planet Pixico. And then I just have two more orders left in this haul. So we're almost there. Next I have Planner Face, who I haven't ordered from in a very long time, but I was going through it and I realized that I needed a bunch of icons and I was like, okay, um, UK and Canadian shops and Australian shops are the easiest for me to buy from in terms of like wait time. So I thought I would pick up some icons from her. And then I realized that I needed a kit for March and I wasn't really sure what kind of theme I wanted to go for. And then I was like looking through like the back to school sort of kits and things. Um, and I saw this art and I was like, you know what? This is kind of, kind of perfect because March technically was always the month where uni would start, which I am not in uni. I graduated <laughs> quite a while ago. Um, like a, yeah, my I did my undergrad a few years ago and then I did graduate from honours a few years ago. So uh, definitely not currently studying, but I just thought this was fun and I thought I would use this for the week that uni tra would traditionally start, which was like the week of uh, the Labor Day public holiday. So that's why I picked this up um, and then I did pick up some icons. So it did come with this cute little thank you card from Anna with her little picture and her socials. So that's really cute. Um, so there is that. And then it did come with the January freebie, which is really nice, like Valentine's icons in like a pink, which is really nice. Um, and there, there's some that you can use like anytime. So like the cats, the coffee, the, um, train and the, like the note, uh, like happy mail, I guess. Um, and then some of these are sort of more Valentine's, Valentine's -y, but really cute. Um, I do order everything from Anna shop on the removable mat, but she does have a premium mat um, upgrade if you prefer. And then I did use the one of the PR codes to get like the extra freebies. Um, so like she doesn't have PR freebies as such, but she does do like seasonal freebies. So this is the spring 2024 set and there's like six different freebie sheets you can get. So like icons, move marquees, full boxes, um, like a bunch of things. So I did luckily get the icons, which is what I was hoping for. I was sort of either hoping for this or the move my keys because I really like her move my keys. But um, I did get the icons, which are really nice in this really nice colorway. So you have like a yellow, a blue, and then some purples. So yes, yeah, so I used um, Beth's code for 10% off. Uh, so yeah. And then like I said, I picked up some icon sheets. So I might go... And back and see if there's any more that I would like next time that I order. But I did just try to pick the things that I knew I was running out of and that I would use sort of like every week. So we do have the grocery baskets. 
uh, the credit cards because not a lot of kits come with bill dues. And so sometimes when I want to mark in like, yeah, a bill, I will use a credit card instead. So there is that. We do have the TVs because um, we do have some streaming services in Australia that aren't everywhere. So like Binge and Stan. So when I watch shows on there, like I want to probably just use a generic TV because I can't really use like a Netflix or Hulu or those kinds of things because yeah, if that makes sense. So did just get some TV stickers for that. Um, garbage bins because I was running out of bin stickers and then just some like lap, not laptop computers, which are like the old school iMacs, <laughs> which I grew up with these. So like, I don't know, this is such a, such a throwback and I really love this, but um, yeah, just to mark in, you know, like anything to do with um, digital planning or uploading videos or editing or anything that I need to do on the computer. So I just picked up those and then I have picked up some icons from some other shops. And I did also put a post on my Instagram stories asking for like shop suggestions for icons and I did get a few. So um, they are on my list. I am probably just gonna try and like sprinkle in getting some icons and characters and things here and there um, as well as getting kits. Cause I do mainly just buy kits, but um, obviously I do like to use icons and things in my planner. So uh, yeah, going to try and order them where I can. And obviously like once I've sort of gone to the point where maybe I've ordered the kits that I need for the month, um, like ahead of time, I may just buy some more icons. So I do have like a list um, on my Google Docs of like the shop and the type of icons that I want to buy. So hopefully you'll see more of those um, in my haul. So like, for example, my next haul has a Carly Plans order. Um, but yeah, so then here is the kit that I ordered from Planaface. Uh, I did get the, I do believe I got the full kit. Um, she does also have like a mini kit option. And then I did pick up a couple of add-ons. So I did get the glitter add-on and the 15 millimeter. So here's the kit. This is Scholar, which I believe this was Sadie Piper art as well. Um, I think you can see a theme in my planner here, but uh, here is the like little page that has the um, deco, the icons and weekend banner, uh, which is really, really nice. And again, like I said, I did get this on the removable, removable mat, but it still prints really vibrant. So yeah, and then um, Anna always includes like any extra boxes as part of the kit rather than like as an add-on. So you do get some um, like fashion extras with the hand because it's probably one in the kit and then any sort of extra boxes with some extra art. So I love this. It's like I panic in way, way more places than the disco. So I struggled to read that, which yeah, is a pun on like Panic of the Disco, the band. Uh, and then like the Fruit Loops, I guess. So that's really cute. And then this was the 15 millimeter add-on. Um, so I did just pick that up because her kits do have like a 30 mil washi and a smaller one, which for my planner, I can get away with that because, um, I am using, yeah, like a happy planner sized planner, if that makes sense. So there's extra space at the bottom, but anyways, here is the kit. So we have the four boxes, which are stunning. I really, really love this. And then some checklists, some more four boxes. So there's always a ton of four boxes, which I really enjoy, um, sidebar and sort of functionals. Then we have the labels page and she does have some bill juice, which is really nice. I appreciate that. Glitter headers, which there's not enough to do a full spread, which is why I get the glitter add-on labels and some more boxes. So you get a ton of boxes in this kit, which I really enjoy. Some more sort of functionals and labels of different sizes. And then here is the bottom washi, which she does include a little trim mark. So you can cut it for a 15 millimeter strip. Um, and then date covers and then some little things and some washi strips. And then this is the glitter add-on. So you get some glitter headers and then some more um, plain labels. So definitely enough for a spread and then some. So that is my order from Planaface. So like I said, I definitely want to order um, more frequently from um, her shop and some other shops that are based in the UK and also some shops based in Canada and Australia um, because I do tend to buy a lot of like US um, shops, but yeah, that is my order from Planaface. I do really love her stuff. I love watching her vlogs. I love watching um, her like new releases and everything that she does. So yeah, really like her shop. So then we get to the last order, which is to go with this kit, which is an order from Planner Hannah. So it did come with this really cute journaling card, which is the like um, board game art from Clip Art Kits, uh, which features Hannah as a fashion girl. And then this is just a little thank you note. I did get a couple of freebies. So I did use Laura Marie Plan's um, PR code. So I did get her freebie, which I believe this is in a rose gold possibly, or like a copper. I'm not too sure, but um, really cute. 
We already have Bloom and Grow self-care plan and then a couple of florals, which is really nice. And then this was the shop freebie, if I can get it. Uh, so we have self-love era, rum cum binge, bestie date, treat yourself. So this is sort of like Valentine's themed. Um, and this is matte silver, I think. Looks like matte silver. So that is that. Um, but I just did just pick up one of the Planet Hannah SPC collabs. So this was the reading collab. So I picked this up to go with the scholar kit because I just thought it was the closest thing. I did pick this up in autumn tie-dye, which again, another sort of wild card um, foil option for me, but I'm going to make it work. Again, I don't know if it matches perfectly, but it will look nice, I think. So here is the scripts and icons, the bottom washi date covers and like deco and deco sidebar. Mm, this is stuck together. Okay. And then we have the... Um, full boxes and like the full box overlays and the headers um because this format is slightly different to her like uh regular bundles um but yeah so there is that and then we do have the two pages of underlays which these are really cute with like a um i believe this is like alice in wonderland or something maybe in the background maybe i see the name alice so i don't know but yeah like a really cute um like script in the background I don't know I'm like struggling to explain this but yeah I don't know it's like not the perfect match but I still think it'll go really well with like the tones in the kit because it's you know got like the brown and the like sort of um yeah like the mustard yellow I don't really know if that's the exact color but because this sort of goes from like brown to gold to silver I think it'll be fine so yeah, another one that we'll sort of see what it looks like when we lay it down. But I'm obviously not going to use this until March, so that'll be in my March lineup. Uh, so, yes, yeah, this order from Hannah, I believe I ordered during – no, I didn't order during, so that was the next one. Uh, so this one, like I said, I used a PR um, code, so I did get 15% off. Uh, I ordered this the 25th of January, the same as Planet Face. I believe I forgot to mention everything about Planet Face, so I will mention that again. But um, – Yes, I ordered this the 5th, no, I ordered this the 25th of January. This shipped the 5th of February and arrived the 8th of February. And this was 1992 US. My planner face order, I ordered the 25th of January. This shipped shipped the 1st of Feb and arrived to my Australian address, like here in Australia, I guess, to myself here in Australia. I don't know. I'm struggling to do this. Um, the 12th of February. And my planner face order was 6630 Australian because I only had a 10% off code because I didn't order during like a sale or anything like that. Um, but yeah, and then I have since ordered from Planner Hannah, which will be in my next haul, which I did order during one of her treat weeks. So I think that's why I was mixing that up. But yes, that is everything for this haul. I finally made it. I struggled to record this like three times today and we did it. Um, so that is everything that I ordered in January. And like I said, you'll see some of these items in my February lineup and some in my March lineup, and then some will be for later in the year. But yeah, that is everything for this video. As always, all the shops will be listed down below along with any codes or coupons. Uh, links to my um, Instagram as well will also be down below because I do also haul these on my Instagram stories. Um, but yeah, that is it for this video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm always open to shop recommendations. So if you have any shops that you recommend, do leave them down below and I will try and check them out. Um, can be for kits, icons, foil, anything. Um, but yeah, because I'm always open to um, recommendations and trying out new shops. Um, I do have a few shops on my radar, so hopefully I can feature them in future hauls. I'm trying my best to sort of like order something from everywhere rather than trying to stick with the same like three or four shops. Obviously for like my monthly kits, I am always going to be using Caress Press and Planet Pixie Co. I think that's just the combo that I'm sticking with this year. But for like weekly kits and foil, I'm trying to do a bit of variety. So yeah, um, that is it for this haul. And I will see you in my next video, which will be my February lineup, uh, which will probably go before this. But anyways, so then in that case, I will see you in my next video, which will be one of my February spreads, probably my Lunar New Year plan with me. Um, <laughs> I keep forgetting that I'm probably going to post my February lineup first, but I'm filming this first. So Yes, I will see you in my next video, whatever it may be, probably a plan with me. And that's it for this video. Bye, guys.